Do you get excited from new 808 samples only to find that they're out of tune? Do you get frustrated trying to find out exactly how many cents you have to go up or down and exactly how to fine tune an 808? Do other producers listen to your beats and make fun of you for your 808s being out of key? And do you also use Logic Pro X? Well, this is the video for you. It's gonna be a short but sweet one, so strap in and let's roll. Hit the button, cause I'm trying to get my subs up. I know you're feeling this, so hit it with a thumbs up. In honor of today's 808 lesson, our black t-shirt is the original 808 drum machine made by Roland. Shout out to Roland for starting a whole era of music. I'm sure you didn't know what you were doing at the time, but you did it and we love you for it. By far the easiest way to tune 808s that I found, not using any type of tuner plugin and trying to manually adjust it just right. Look, I used to do that, it's terrible, and we don't have to do that anymore. We have the quick sampler now. And it was introduced in the 10.5 update to Logic, so if you're not updated, update, get the quick sampler and the new sampler. They are incredible tools, I use them all the time. So let me show you how I use the quick sampler to quickly tune my 808s. I have a beat here I made last night using a Cymatics loop. Shout out to Cymatics. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Lucky 808 right here and drag it to the bottom left. And you're gonna see Quick Sampler, original and optimized. We want to use optimized. And I'll show you why here in one second. It's gonna pop it open like that. I'm not sure why it has the loop on by default, but I'm gonna turn that off. And if we wanted to switch out the 808, we could grab another one and hover over the quick sampler here, and we have the same two options, original and optimized. And under optimized, it's gonna tell us exactly what it's doing. It's optimizing the tuning, which is what we're looking for. It's also optimizing the loudness, so it's normalizing it. It's searching for loop points. In case you want the 808 to extend out longer, it will find an optimal point for it to loop back on itself and extend out as far as you want it. And it's also cropping out the silence, so we don't have anything extra that we don't need. And believe it or not, the work is already done for us. We're looking right here at root key, and our root note is gonna be C, which is generally what you want for your 808 to be correctly displayed across your keyboard. And then the key right here is minus 13 cents. So our 808 was off by 13 cents, just a smidge, but the quick sampler has gone ahead and already fixed that for us. So when we play it, perfectly tuned immediately when it's loaded in. Never before has it been this easy. We can just drag in any old 808, drag it to optimized. That one was right on. Good job, whoever made that 808. This one, off 11 cents, it's already fixed. As Soon as you drag it in, it's a perfect C every time. It doesn't get much easier than this. And see, this one was a D sharp. It wasn't even the correct root note, and it wouldn't have been displayed across the keyboard correctly, but the quick sampler has taken the liberty of fixing it automatically for us. So no matter what 808 we drop in at any time, we've got the perfect in-key sound that we're looking for. I personally use the quick sampler for the majority of my 808s. It's clean, quick, efficient, it does what I need it to do, and it gets the job done 95% of the time. But the other 5%, when I'm maybe doing something more advanced, like some glides, I might want to throw it into the full sampler or into alchemy or even into contact. But even if I'm doing that, I'm throwing it in the quick sampler first to make sure I have my tuning perfect. A machine has told me this is where it's at and I can be confident that my stupid human ears aren't lying to me because that happens, trust me. Of course, the 808 in Congratulations by Post Malone is out of key and that song went diamond, so. Maybe none of this matters, who cares? Makes that makes people feel something. But if you want in tune 808s and you use Logic, this is the way to do it. Let's go ahead and throw a bass line in this beat for the hell of it. Until next time, three out. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, yeah. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, whoa. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, yeah. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, whoa.